Hello, good morning. It is Friday today and later on we have a lovely open house live stream. So you can come and join on, uh, join me and have a chat in person uh, live. Uh, you don't have to have video, you can just have audio. Uh, so that's later on today, hopefully uh, I'll get this video out as ASAP so you know about it. But there is a live stream at six. Anyway, today's story is about public transport. So you may want to have a look, look at this. However, it is based in Scotland. So slightly different for the England part of United Kingdom. Although if you are a disabled traveller, you will know how difficult public transport is. And if you watch my videos, you'll know that trains are not that easy either. If you have a uh, wheelchair or scooter, you're going to be struggling just as I am when I go out, uh, which is why I rely on my vehicle, which is a motorbirty car, uh, so I can put my scooter inside and go wherever I like and then use my scooter when I get there. So public transport, if you're not, not lucky to have a, a vehicle, then obviously you'll be relying on uh, buses, trains and taxis. And of course in the UK we do have a Disability Equality Act which means that all our public services should be accessible. But as we all know, it doesn't really work that way. Well, in Scotland, there is going to be a little bit of a, a legal action if uh, public transport firms do not provide access for all. Let's have a look at the, the article which was out yesterday. So, Scotland public transport firms face legal action over access for all. Transport operators face legal action if their services do not meet the needs of disabled and older passengers. The move is part of a strategy fund by Scotland's Equalities Watchdog to, to prevent discrimination and ensure equal access to public transport. The Equality and Human Rights Commission say it will vigorously defend the rights of disabled and older passengers. It says operators often fail in their legal duty to ensure easy access. So the watchdog is, is now looking to support people who are challenging this kind of discrimination. And it will back complaints with advice and assistance and also provide funding for legal support to help people take companies to court. Now, obviously, uh, when we're talking about uh, invisible responsibility in law to ensure disabled people and older people travel too often they fail to meet these obligations and of course uh, it does mean that uh, the EHRC Scotland will consider complaints involving a range of disabilities including invisible impairments such as mental health conditions so obviously this is good news for if you live in Scotland. Not so good if you live in England because obviously we don't have that at the moment. So whilst they have a, a legal duty to do it, there's no no one's really um, no one's forced the issue. So it might be a good idea that we we start to do that. Maybe we need to find a way around it and take these companies to court for lack of access. Certainly from my experience, it's a bit of hit and miss because uh, certainly the trains I went on um, over the summer uh, weren't that accessible and that created a lot of stress for me because uh, the actual allocated space was just not big enough for the scooter I had and it was designed for disabled people to, to be able to uh, travel. And then, of course, I, I had no chair no seat. Uh, I was very lucky to get a seat to sit on. Uh, sometimes I have no seat and I have to stay on the scooter. Luckily, when that's happened, I've only been going a very short distance. But 
if I went longer distance, then I would have to book a seat to make sure I got one. Well, we have we have two choices. We can either do it ourselves and uh, try and take them to court, or we can move to Scotland. <laughs> Possibly something that you don't want to do. Uh, it's a bit cold up there. No offence to any Scot Scottish people, but it is a bit cold, a bit wet, and a bit windy. So I think I'll stay down here. Thank you. Uh, anyway, have a good day. And hopefully, uh, if this video is out, then I'll catch you later. If not, I'll see you next time. Bye for now. <laughs>